Anis Amri, the jihadist that drove a truck into scores of people in Berlin, leaving 12 dead and injuring dozens, finally faced justice in Milan, Italy as a rookie police officer, took Amri down in a hail of bullets after Amri pulled a gun while being asked for identification. Amri had been one of the many refugees leaving Tunisia during the Arab Spring in 2011 for European shores. Tunisia, now seen as a jihadist hotbed, sending more fighters to Syria than any other country. Amri had been allowed to remain in Europe regardless of the fact that he had spent four years in prison after being held responsible for burning down a migrant reception center on the Italian island of Lampedusa. Back in Germany, Angela Merkel continued to ignore the blood on her hands as calls for her to step down echoed throughout Berlin's Washington Square, numbering as high as 10,000 protesters. Because right now, we still don't know exactly what happened. We have to presume this is a terrorist attack. Three suspected jihadists said to be linked to Anis Amri have been arrested in Tunisia, the home country of the supposed Berlin truck attacker. Described as members of a terrorist cell by Tunisia's interior ministry, the trio includes a nephew of Amri who was shot dead by Italian police in Milan on Friday. It will be very hard to deal with this, to understand this, if we find out that this was committed by someone who took refuge in Germany. And now the world enters the Christmas season on high alert as ISIS releases a list of U.S. churches to attack. Record highs surge across the U.S. border, numbering on the average of 1,574 per day and 820,000 illegal immigrants with felonies and serious misdemeanors walk the streets of the United States, urged on by the reckless support of President Obama and the Mexican ambassador. We are facing a crisis of epic proportions. More than 65 million people have been driven from their homes, which is more than any time since the Second World War. Among them are more than 21 million refugees who have fled their countries. Everything and everyone they've ever known, playing with a suitcase or the clothes on their back. It's a crisis of our shared security. Not because refugees are a threat. Refugees, most of whom are women and children, are often fleeing war and terrorism. They are victims. They're families who want to be safe and to work, be good citizens and contribute to their country. If we were to turn refugees away simply because of their background or religion, or for example, because they are Muslim, then we would be reinforcing terrorist propaganda that, that nations like my own are somehow opposed to Islam. It's an ugly lie that must be rejected in all of our countries by upholding the values of pluralism and diversity. So I'm wondering how this might affect relations with Muslims. It's an attack on humanity. That's what it is. It's an attack on humanity. And it's got to be stopped. If you take a trip along the San Diego-Mexico border, on the surface you won't notice anything different. But there is. It's the changing face of immigration. Well, right now we're seeing a large influx of Syrian refugees seeking asylum. Crime will surge, disease will spread, and more terror attacks are inevitable. Fortunately, Obama's days as president are coming to a close. The lifting of Obama's fog of apocalyptic immigration will be finally recognized for what it is. And anyone with any sense in their head will come to the conclusion that this is why we have immigration laws that need to be enforced. John Bound for Infowars.com. InfoWars Life and InfoWarsLife.com is extremely excited to announce our latest release, Winter Sun, a revolutionary type of vitamin D3. Winter Sun is a premium quality vitamin D3 nutritional supplement. It is produced by extracting oil from healthy nutrient-dense plants known as lichens. Every batch is analyzed for purity and D3 content. It's completely free of toxins and allergens. Visit InfoWars.com today or call 888-253-3139. Anis Amri, the jihadist that drove a truck into scores of people in Berlin, leaving 12 dead and injuring dozens, finally faced justice in Milan, Italy as a rookie police officer, took Amri down in a hail of bullets after Amri pulled a gun while being asked for identification. Amri had been one of the many refugees leaving Tunisia during the Arab Spring in 2011 for European shores. Tunisia, now seen as a jihadist hotbed, sending more fighters to Syria than any other country. Amri had been allowed to remain in Europe regardless of the fact that